Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. Today is Sunday, October 16th. It's currently 12.30, and I have baby Milano here for this video today. And today is actually my goddaughter's first birthday. And it is actually my dad's birthday as well as my grandpa's. So this day is very, very special. And so I did want to just say happy birthday to those very special people. And that's pretty much all I have to say for the beginning of this video. I do have a topic discussion for you all. I suppose I had did this video yesterday before I had left. But I was gone pretty much all day yesterday for my friend's son birthday party who also turned one he didn't turn one yesterday he turned one a few days ago but his party was yesterday so i was like uh wrapping gifts up and making it look all pretty in the bag so i didn't really have a lot of time and i had to run errands so i was running errands and so i was pretty much busy the whole day yesterday so i did not get a chance to make this video because i did want to upload it today and i didn't get a chance to do that but you all have been loving and enjoying baby september's night routine and i'm so happy you guys did it had to be one of my best routines in a while my best routines were back in like 2018 a little bit of 2019 but then it started going downhill a little bit and i do have a playlist i have all of my routine videos so you guys can kind of see how i evolved and actually it looks like a different because i definitely think i got better at the routines but my favorite ones were from like 2019 like 2018 2019 around that time those were my favorite routine videos that i did so go check them out if you haven't already and also go watch baby september's night routine if you haven't already i hope this angle is okay for you all um Maybe this one might be a little bit better, just so you guys can just see him. I am using front facing again for this video because uh, if I use the back camera and it's not facing towards me, I'm not going to be able to see if you guys are focused. And I was going to twist his hair, but as you guys see, I didn't. I actually did start it. I started to twist his hair, but then I didn't like how it was coming out because I didn't have any like rubber bands and it was all bad. So I just did not twist it but i did want to keep it twisted like this so yeah i do have a topic discussion anyways this has been something on my mind f for quite a while maybe about a year now and i just haven't did a video talking about it so before i start talking about this topic i am not talking about anyone in specific um and i hope no one thinks that i am targeting them and that i'm specifically talking about them because in no way shape or form i am not this video is not about one specific person at all it seriously is not this video is really just general and just public it's not about anyone so if you think it's about you i promise it's not so i've been selling my babies since about the end of 2017 really the beginning of like 2018 when i started to build my collection up Back then, I really did have to sell, sell, sell in order to get new babies. So I was selling kind of a lot of babies like back then. And then you guys know I started my journey on painting. So now I have quite a few babies for sale, right? So again, this is not about anyone in particular. This has been happening ever since I started selling babies at the end of 2017. And then it's just like now it's like even more and more since I am selling more babies and have listed more babies up for sale. So it's just been happening more and more. So basically what I want to talk about, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I just want to talk about just common decency and like this community has just lost everything. Like I don't even get a hi, a hey, a hello. I don't get a how you're doing. And you know, sometimes I really don't care. Like if you're really interested in the baby and i could tell you're interested we can skip being formal i guess but it's just kind of like i don't know i've just been getting how much are you taking for this baby is it still available would you do this price can i have more photos and i'm just like those are like the first messages like the very first messages i am getting from people people i again i don't know so it's just kind of like a little rude i've never ever 
And I can't even blame it on anyone being young. But then again, I can because, you know, when you're younger, you're not thinking about that. But when even when I was young and I was inquiring about a baby that I saw for sale, I've always started my conversation off as, hello, how are you doing? Or, hi, I hope you're doing well. And then I proceed to ask them, do you have a price in mind? Or would you lower, blah, blah, whatever I am trying to get my point across in the message, I will then do. But lately, as of lately... I've just been getting how much, just how much, like no question mark, no nothing, just how much. And maybe I'm just in my feelings a little bit or something, but I, I just think it's so rude. I do. Again, okay, if you're seriously interested in a baby, we can skip the formal decency. You don't have to ask me how my day is because you probably don't care anyways, which is okay. You don't even have to tell me hi. If you're seriously interested in that baby and you want to pay for that baby, whatever. Then we can talk about it. But I've just been getting like how much still available. I don't even get a high anymore. And I just think that's like absolutely crazy. And then so I'm like, okay, that's okay, whatever. So I respond back, hello. And sometimes I'll put like, how are you? Or hello, I hope you're doing well. Something like that. But sometimes I won't. Sometimes I'll just put hello or hi, even if they didn't. And then I'll say, I have this baby listed for blah, blah, blah. But I am willing to take reasonable offers. If you need anything else like photos or any more information, let me know. Have a great rest of your day. Sometimes I'll say have a great rest of your day. Sometimes I will put have a great rest of your day or something like that. Sometimes, again, I won't. And then I'll say thank you for your interest. Then after I send that, I will get left on scene. I cannot make this up. They will ask me their, how much. And I tell them, hey, he or she is blah, 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 blah. Thank you for your interest. I will literally get left on scene. No double tap on the message. No, okay, thank you. Or no, okay, that's a little bit above my price range. Or okay, thank you, I'm no longer interested. I will literally get left on scene. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know. Again, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just coming across that type of way where we don't have any common decency nowadays. I don't know what it is. But like I said, we can skip the hellos, the hey's, the greetings, if you will like. But then once I message you back and I let you know how much the baby is, the best response you can do is okay thank you or I don't have the funds right now or this baby is a little bit over my budget so I am going to have to pass just something like that or just okay have a great day that can go a long way I just literally have been getting left on scene from left to right to left to right to left to right and for the most part my prices for my babies are put up so when I still get that question I'm like okay it's already posted but i will tell you again and again i am always nice and respectable and even if someone isn't showing that back i'm still always very very nice so maybe that's why i feel like at least something instead of getting left on red would be a lot better than just leaving someone on red and so if any one of you are out there thinking about purchasing a baby or inquiring someone about something they're selling, please, I'm telling you, a hi and a hey will go a long way. A okay, thank you will go a long way. A have a great rest of your day. Have a nice weekend. That will go a long way. Hey, it's a little bit over my budget, but thank you. Or I'm not willing to spend that right now something like that to let them know that you were interested and then once you knew the price you are no longer interested again maybe it's just me you guys will have to definitely let me know how you guys feel about this topic leave your comments down below of course always leave it respectful and let me know how you guys feel are you one for the former greetings or if you're like no it doesn't really matter just get down to the nitty-gritty what do you want <laughs> well what can i help you with what do you need you guys will have to let me know so again the hey how are you doing that part again i'm not too oh my gosh you definitely have to say that for me personally you don't but the thing that i do wish a lot of people would do is say okay thank you after they inquire you about something for sale especially a baby 
that's just me though so again that's just me personally i would like when people say okay thank you or they don't even have to say thank you they could just say okay the baby's a little bit over my budget or thank you for letting me know or something along those lines i would definitely greatly appreciate it if a lot more people can do that because i like i said i've been getting left unseen left and right from the same people who aren't even saying hey hi how are you doing something like that so again maybe that's just me you guys will have to let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about it uh if you guys had ever had anyone just ask you how much something was that you were selling and then just left you in red when you told them or anything like that and yeah just let me know you guys' opinions i would like to read on this and maybe again it's just me maybe i'm the only one who feels like that and maybe i'm the one who wants to just do the most maybe you guys don't care too much if they say thank you or hey or greet you or anything like that and just get straight to business i guess i don't know so i don't want to make this video any longer than what it already is i have to start getting ready because i am going to a gender reveal party my goddaughter's birthday is today and her party was supposed to be today but they did have to cancel due to an emergency so uh, i will have to i may be able to drop off her present or if they're going to reschedule for another party i can just wait but i'll have to see what they're doing so i guess i can go to the gender reveal now of someone else <laughs> but yeah so this is just my baby boy milano and he is not for sale he is one of my forever babies i know i get a lot of questions on who's my forever babies in my collection and i know i don't mind those questions at all guys you guys know i change my collection up very frequently so I don't mind those questions at all if you guys are asking like which babies are you going to keep or if you're selling any let me know someone's like oh if you ever plan on selling milan or anything like that let me know i don't take that rudely i personally don't some people do but i don't i do want to get back into the topic discussion sorry i didn't change him i wanted to take a picture of him in this outfit before i changed him but i didn't take his picture yet so i couldn't change him so you guys just had to stare at him and hopefully you guys weren't too bored just looking at him but who could look at his little face and i like puffed up his hair so it looks like he has a little afro it's so cute look at him uh all about nikki dows all about nikki's reborns all about nikki's reborns she does uh like topic videos and she won't change a baby in there and so she says like in the beginning like this is the time for you to like fold laundry while you listen or do um chores or anything like that like does that make sense like clean like wash your dishes or something while you listen to the video because she's not changing her um, baby so there's nothing really visual you have to look at so you'll be able to do other things while you're listening to the video which i think is great so you guys can do that for this video as well when she does those type of videos like when i hear it she says it in the beginning which i probably should have said but she's like, these are one of the videos where you guys can just go ahead and listen and do things while you're listening and get things done. And it was crazy because I was literally doing my hair. I was doing my hair while listening to one of her videos where all you had to do was listen. And I was like, whoo. And then I was conveniently, you know, washing dishes. And there was a lot that day. And she also had did a video where all you had to do was listen instead of watching. So I got a chance to wash the dishes. And so I liked that a lot. So... Hopefully in the videos that I'm not changing um, my babies in, you guys will be able to get some things done. Maybe clean your room or fold laundry or do laundry, organize your closet, wash dishes, sweep mop. So I hope this video could help you do some things around the house or get some things done that you wanted to do. But also watch videos while you do it or catch up on videos. And I'm still catching up on videos, but I'm so close to catching up on a lot of you guys channel so i'm so happy yay for that if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on instagram go ahead and do so at my underscore reborns if you guys like this video get a big thumbs up comment down below anything you guys want in the comments including video requests also let me know how you guys feel about this topic i would love to know and if you're not subscribed to this channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you guys can see me milano and all of my other beautiful babies and we will talk to you guys later all right bye